Saints of God, we are so glad to be here to be with you, to share with you tonight here at the House of God Christian Church. Lord Saints, we are here for the second installment of Word Explosion 2022. Can we make some noise for God's move tonight? Can we give God some glory for what God is going to do, for what he has called, for what he has sanctioned, for what he has breathed in the earth realm? We're here to be blessed tonight. We're here to hear a word tonight. We're here to be in God's presence tonight because I'm telling you, if you came expecting, God has got something for us tonight. Any of y'all believe that tonight? Any of y'all believe that God has something for you tonight? That he wouldn't have had you get out your house in the middle of the night, drive down the highway, put your clothes on, come in here just to waste your time. But if he got you up to bring you out, he brought you in to bring you up. Amen, somebody. And I believe that God has got the best is still yet to come. And I believe that there's an impartation in the house tonight. That God has something in mind for us tonight. We're going to pray, but you know we have a man of God who's coming here tonight to breathe life into this atmosphere. None other than Bishop Eric Freeman all the way from the Meeting Place Church in greater Columbia and I don't know about y'all but I need every word that God put in him for us I said I need every word that God has put in him for us because what God has to say is what we need to hear somebody say amen what God has to say is what we need to hear and whatever we hear that's what we're going to do glory to God hallelujah bless the name of our God I don't know about y'all but I feel the glory of the Lord I feel the presence of God. I feel the goodness of God. And I'm so excited. Please, for those who are coming online right now, please take the time for those who are in here and share. Hit the share button. Hit the share button. Hit the share button. Let somebody know that the house of God, Christian Church, is online. That we are here. That we are about to go forward. We're about to allow God to bless us. We're about to let God move into us and move older us. Amen, somebody. How many of y'all need God to work a work in your life? God bless you, Sister Maria. How many of y'all need God to work a work in your life? I didn't say you want God. I said, how many of y'all need God to work a work? Somebody say, work a work, Lord. Work a work, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Bless the name of our God. Hallelujah. This is indeed the day the Lord has made. Oh, we make up of our mind. We choose. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. We're going to pray. We're going to pray so we can move out the way so the praise and worship team can come in and just bless and just move mightily because we expect miracles. We expect an outpouring. We expect God to do wonderful things tonight. So for those who are watching by way of stream, by way of Facebook, I want you to prepare yourself for a night like none other. I want you to get on that phone, get on that tablet, get on that computer, and let somebody know that God is about to show up, and he's going to show up for you. I'm here to tell you that God is going to move tonight. Glory to God. Glory. I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I need everyone to please stand that can. We're going to move before the Lord. I need for those who are watching by way of stream, if you would just put away all distraction, put away all things, and just focus right now as a time of worship, that you would be able to lift your hands. And those who are in this place right now, just to be able to lift your hands in the atmosphere, just to be, yes, shut up, my God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Woo! Yes, God. Already. Already. Yes, God. Begin to lift your hands in the atmosphere while God is coming, while we're waiting on the Lord to manifest even the more. Come on, lift your hands in the glory. Come on. Come on. This is a night that God created just for us. Lift your hands in the atmosphere. Yes, God, as he begins to saturate you. Come on, open your mouth and say something to the Lord. Begin to worship the Lord even right now. Begin to minister unto the Lord. Come on, begin to tell him how how wonderful he is. Come on. Come on, begin to tell him how, how glad you got him as a God. Begin to tell him how much you love him. How much you're leaning on him. How much you need him. Come on. 
Tell him, oh God, oh God, oh God, we worship you right now. Oh, we're going to pray, but let's worship the king. We worship you right now. Yes, God. Yes, God. We adore you, king. We, we give you reverence to you, king, God. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Yes, God, I need you. Oh, God, I need you. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I'm feeling them. I'm feeling better now. I'm feeling better now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. For those who are lifting their hands, for those who are worshiping, for those who have a high of expectation, for those who say, Lord, I'm pressing in. Lord, I'm pressing in. I've got pains. I've got situations. I've got sicknesses. I've got stress. I've got all types of things. But I'm still making a sacrifice to press in. I'm, hey, shut up, I'm pressing in. I'm pressing in. I'm pressing in. I could be home in bed, but I'm pressing. I could be somewhere else, but I'm pressing. I'm getting up my mind. I'm going to press tonight. Come on, for those who are pressing. I'm pressing tonight. I'm pressing. We got blocks in our life, but he's going to explode something tonight. 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 Something is going to explode tonight. Something is going to explode tonight. There will be no more blocking after tonight. There will be no more distractions after tonight. There will be nothing in your way in that section after tonight. God, now my God, is going to do it. It's going to be an explosion tonight. Come on, we're going to pray. We're going to pray. We're going to pray. Oh God, dear 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 God. Yeah, God, yeah, God. Yeah, God, yeah, God. Come on, there's glory in here. 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 There's glory, 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 glory. There's glory in here. Yeah, Shetama, Mama. Glory in here. Yeah, Mama. There's glory in here. There's glory, 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 glory. There's glory in here. Yeah, Shetama, Mama. Yeah, Mama, Mama. Glory, Lord. Mama, Mama. Come on. Come on, let's pray. Father. Father, in the name of Jesus, glory to God. Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name that is above all names, in the name that you have given us, Lord, that at the name of Jesus that every knee should bow, that every hindrance that has a name has got to bow, every sickness that has a name has got to bow, every distraction that has a name has got to bow every pain every hurt that has a name it's got to bow that at the name of jesus everything has got to bow in heaven and in earth god and every tongue has got to confess that jesus christ is lord father in the name of jesus we come tonight god come seeking and searching lord for greater amounts of your anointing, greater amounts of your presence, greater amounts of your glory. Hey, shut down my We want more. We want more tonight, God. We want more tonight, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for what you already gave. But we come crying out, Lord, give me more tonight. Give me more, God. There are greater levels to attend. There's greater depths yet to go to. Give us more tonight, God. Oh, God. We want to walk in places we've never seen, God. We want to travel in places we've never even dreamed about, God. Give us more, God. Allow the Spirit, Lord, to open up to us realms and heights we've never seen, God. Reveal to us, God, mysteries and make them known to us, God, tonight, God. Help us tonight in this house, God, to overcome all types of dilemmas. Help us tonight in this house to overcome over all kinds of setbacks. Help us tonight in this house to overcome ourselves. To overcome our own thoughts, our own ways of feeling. Help us tonight, God, to overcome ourselves, to overcome the enemy, to overcome our flesh, to overcome tradition, God, so that we can fulfill the mandate. Help us tonight, Shanama. Help us tonight. Help us tonight, God. Help us tonight, God. You called us out, God. You called us out, God, to do a work for you, God. But we need your help. We need your help. We need your help tonight, God. We can't sing without you, God. We can't minister without you, God. 
We can't speak without your God. We can't pray without your God. Help us. Yes, Adama. Help us, God. Help us. Help us tonight, God. Help us so we can fulfill the mandate. Help us, God, so we can do the work. Help us, God, so souls can be saved, God. Help us, God, so souls can be delivered, God. Help us, God, until homes get right. Help us, God, help us. Help us, God, help us, help us. Help us, God, help us, help us. Shut down my night. Hey, help us, God, help us. Glory to God. God, we thank you for tonight. We thank you for the assignment, for the assigned place. We thank you, Lord, for this God moment. We thank you, Lord, for calling us to this place, to where we meet you tonight, God, where our humanity is covered by your divinity, God, tonight. Thank you, Lord God, tonight that this is the place where our lives just turned around, God. Thank you, God, that this is the place. This is the place where we get a fresh outpouring of the Holy Spirit, God. Lord, thank you for calling us here tonight because this is the place, God, where our eyes come open. We get revelation. We get the impartation. We get the degree and desire to move forward for you, oh God. Thank you, Lord God. For calling us to this place for this is the place God that we start walking in greater degrees of victory this is the place to where we take control by the anointing of things that we were out of control with that when we go back home God we got the victory God when we cross the threshold to our house we're walking in victory when we go back to our job we're walking in victory when we fulfill the assignment God we are doing it in victory, God. Somebody shout victory. Somebody shout victory. Victory is what you called for. Victory is what you made us for. Victory is what we're standing in, God. And we shall have victory, God. We shall live in victory. We shall walk in victory. Victory, God. Victory. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God. And because, God, we know you're about to explode in our lives. We know you're about to blow some devils up. We know you're about to blow some devourers out the water. We know you're about to blow our minds. We know you're about to blow our expectations. We know you're about to blow us and propel us into a new realm, into a new state. And because, God, we trust you right now, God. We don't wait to see it, God. We begin to give you praise right now. We begin to open our mouth. Yes, God. We begin to glorify you. We begin to give you praise. We lift you up, God. Yes, God. We lift you up, God. For the glory that's on the way. We lift you up, God. Shut up. Yes, God. We lift you up. We lift you up. We lift you up. We lift you up. We praise you. We praise you for the victory in the house and for those who are watching my stream. God, touch every life. Touch every life. I command I command life to every dying area in the name of Jesus. I speak life to every dying area. Lord. I speak life to every dying area. You will live and you will not die. I said you will live. Yes, God. Starting tonight, right now, you will live. And your walk will not die. I'm speaking to somebody tired, you will live. Somebody hurt, you will live. Somebody feel like giving up, you will live. Yes, God. Yes, God. This is a night of a turnaround. This is a night of another chance. Oh, God. Oh, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We bless you tonight. We give you glory. We give you honor. For all that you have said, all that you have done, and for all that you will do, it is in Jesus' name. The King of kings, the Lord of lords, it is in Jesus' name. Whose name is that we ask these things in? Somebody shout glory. Come on, help me shout, shout glory. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. We do give honor to him who's the head of my life. And we just thank God for being who he is, which is the son of God. And we just want to open up today and um, tonight <clears throat> with a little song. Come back here, my Lord, come back here, come back here, my Lord, come back here, come back here, my Lord, come back here, thank you, oh Lord.
Hallelujah. Yeah. We want to tell the Lord, glory, glory, hallelujah. hallelujah. Since we laid our burden down. Yes. Hallelujah. hallelujah. We lay them down, but sometimes we pick them back up. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Since I laid my burden down. Oh, glory, glory.
Keep going, keep going, same song. Let me tell you something, God is good. Same, same song. Amen, amen, amen. Keep going, same song. Because you know something, I'm excited because when I saw the man of God back there, back, back there, my spirit began to leap. Knowing that we have a deposit that's about to impregnate us. The, they were singing what a mighty God we serve. Did y'all hear what I said? They were singing what a mighty God we serve. Does anybody know that we serve a mighty God? I said, does anybody know we serve a mighty God? Turn that back up, brother. Does anybody know we serve a mighty God? I said, does anybody know we serve a mighty God? I heard you say, baby, the angels bow before him and heaven and earth adore him. Didn't y'all hear them sing that? What a mighty God. What a mighty God. What a mighty God. Come on back up here, mama. Come on, y'all. Give me one more little piece of that round there real quick. Come on back up here. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, come on. Hallelujah. 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 Put your hands together, give the Lord some praise that we serve a mighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, I want to take this time once again to welcome everyone here. And for those who are watching online, I've seen your numbers and I've seen your faces. And I thank God for all of you. And let me take the time to say welcome to Word Explosion 2022. Can we give God some praise? for what he is going to do in this house. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. I'm here to tell you that God didn't bring you up and bring you out just to see you sit the way you sit. God has woken you up. He has brought you and stirred you and gave you the strength to be here in this house so he can change the course of your life for the rest of your life. If anybody needs a course change, come on, shout glory. 
If you need God to change the course to go higher, change the course to go straighter, shout glory. He's got something for us tonight. He's got something for us tonight. And we thank God tonight for all that we have so far have heard and received. But my spirit is quickening because I woke up this morning. Every time I would post that flyer, my spirit would jump. Because God said for these months of the year that every time we gather for this installment, for this occasion, that he was going to propel our lives. I don't know about y'all, but that means something to me. Anybody ever been stuck? Anybody ever been stuck? For God to say he's going to propel you is God to say, I'm going to do what you couldn't do. I'm going to unstick some stuff. I'm going to move you past some blockades. Glory to God. And I decree right now for those that are here and for those that are watching online that God is about to take matters into his hand to give us insight and wisdom and power and move us to the realm we've never even seen. Hallelujah. We thank God tonight. We thank God for this. We thank God for our bishop. Thank God for our overseer, Bishop William L. Brigman. Can we thank God for the man of God? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Can we thank God for his lovely wife, Mother Brenda Brigman? Hallelujah. Come on, Lion. Help me thank God for it. Hallelujah. Can y'all help me thank God for my lovely wife, Lady Cecilia White? God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Praise him. I did a wonderful job. I did a wonderful job. Amen. Wonderful job. I thank God for all you leaders that are in here. I thank God for all you servants that are in here. I thank God for all you that are alive. But can y'all help me thank God for the man of God for tonight, who God has brought here all the way from greater Columbia, South Carolina, none other than the person of the Honorable Bishop Eric J. Freeman. Glory to God. Can we make some noise? Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. My God, my God. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all, some of y'all wasn't familiar. I don't know how it's possible that you're not familiar with Bishop Freeman, but from, some of y'all from different states and some of y'all from different countries, I get that. But he's everywhere. But when we posted that thing of him, for that was three minutes, when he was talking about big, he was talking about that big, and, 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 and we saw how that lit up. I said, what he can, if that was three minutes and y'all about to go crazy, imagine what he's going to do when he gets some time to move. Bishop Freeman, don't need to pump him up because he carries his own weight. He's a man of God. He's a man of integrity. He, of course, he's an, he's an alpha man too, so I, I throw that one in there, you know. I throw that one in there too. I said I throw that one in there too, man. <laughs> but 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 he's a he's an honorable man. And and for all that we have known of him in the years we've been here it has been dynamite it has been integrable and it has been kingdom oriented and we're in for something tonight I, I want for those who are watching by way of Facebook listen you have time you have time to, to, to prepare yourself to tell your friends and family to get on this line to get on this live tonight because what God is going to do this is one of them things that, that you should have been there you just should have been there you have the moments, you have the time to get on live tonight to hear what God has to say through the man of God tonight. I want to pause for a moment. I, I want to allow our first lady to come to us and give us an official welcome tonight, and then I'll come right back. Come on, lady. Praise the Lord. God is good, isn't he? Amen, amen. On behalf of our overseer, Bishop Brigman, and his lovely wife, First Lady Brigman, on behalf of our pastor and my husband, Pastor Ivory White, <laughs> to our guest speaker on tonight, Bishop Eric Freeman and his lovely wife, um, and to all the clergy in their, in their um, respectable places, to even to our Facebook family, friends, and members, I just want to say welcome to our Word Explosion 2022. Hallelujah. We want to have a good time in the Lord. I'm excited to see what God has for us. So make yourself at home and let's have a great time in the Lord. Amen? Amen. Amen. Lord. 
praise the Lord. We want to thank our First Lady for um, that welcome. Uh, we want to thank all those who are here. I, I want you to know that we take this very seriously, uh, this move of God. We take this very seriously. Anytime God said he wants to move, you take it seriously. Our job is to be in place. Our job is to be in place, to be in position so when he pours out, we don't miss it. Amen? And we do understand that there are a lot of us who are online. I saw the names. I saw you. And I do understand because of the work and because of some of the protocols that you are here. But stay there tonight. Stay in place. Stay plugged in tonight. Stay plugged in. You don't want to miss this tonight. And if you have somebody who is borderline, you want them online tonight. You got somebody who is, who is, has lost some of their fire, you want them on tonight. If you have somebody who, who just doesn't know, you want them on tonight. Because sometimes we miss our opportunities when the water is stirred. Amen? And tonight is one of those nights when the water is stirred. Brother Bear, do me a favor, man. There, there's another group coming outside, coming up there. If you would make sure you look for them, please, sir. And they'll be up uh, out in a few minutes. Um, but we are so excited so for what God is going to do. Anybody else excited? Anybody else excited? We've, we've, had, the, we've had the pleasure in the last few days to be um, with um, Bishop, I mean, Dr. Brian McKnight and the Transformation Community Church at his conference. We heard Bishop Michael Blue and Dr. Aaron McNair deliver great words of inspiration, and our spirits are already up. And we believe that what God has tonight is designed to take us to that place. Amen? Amen. I say that because you can't get there without a word. I'm talking to those who are here and to those who are online. You, we have to appreciate the gift we've been given tonight because we can't get there without a word. Somebody shout, I need a word. See, I, I know we're designed to dance, and, and that's okay. I like dancing, too. We're designed to shout, and I like shouting, too. But you cannot get to where God has for you to get without a word. You have to have what he, he said, to serve God with your, your heart, your, 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 your soul, and your mind. So you serve God with your mind by gaining the word. Amen? amen. Shout amen, somebody. Amen. We need the word. We praise God. We want to pause now. We're going to ask when our very own, we're going to ask if Minister Joanne Barber would come and she would give us our, our opening prayer. Lady White, I need your microphone, please. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord, everyone. We just want to thank God for being in the house tonight. We thank God for everybody that's here. Um, and at this time, I'm just going to go into a word of prayer. Just thanking God for our, our bishop is going to bring the word tonight, his lovely wife, his church that's coming in. God, we thank you. We're asking everyone to stand that can stand. Dear Heavenly Father, our gracious Lord, we thank you, God. We thank you, God. We thank you for all that you've done, Lord God. And we thank you for tonight, Lord God, another chance to hear from you, Jesus. Another chance to be inspired by your word, Lord God. Another chance to receive, Lord God. Another chance to grow, Lord God. And God, we just want to thank you. We lift our hands and praise to you, Jesus. Lord God, we thank you for everyone that came on tonight, Lord God. Our bishop, our pastor, Lord God. Our church family, Lord God. We ask God just to help us to open up our, our minds and our hearts and receive what you have for us on tonight, Lord God. Lord God, because we know it's going to be a mighty word. It's a word that's going to carry us, Lord God. It's a word that's going to lift us up, Lord God. God, we just want to thank you, Lord God. We thank you for all that you've done, Lord God, and everyone that's here and all that you're going to do for us, Lord God. God, I thank you for all, all of it, God. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen, amen, 
Amen. God bless y'all. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless everyone. Truly, it is indeed an honor and a privilege and a pleasure to be able to stand here to see all these gorgeous faces, all those who are coming to worship, those who are coming to be blessed, those who are coming to be a blessing. God is truly a wonderful God. And thank you, uh, Minister Barbara, for that prayer. Thank you for all the attendees that are coming. For all the attendees that are coming, we thank God for everyone here. Thanks to God, I've been looking for this thing here all for the last few weeks. I have, and the closer we got, the, the better I was feeling. And I want you to know right now that I believe that for those who have a high level of anticipation, the best is yet to come. Do y'all believe that? That the best is yet to come. And I am just so excited to see and hear what God has to say tonight, what God has to do tonight. If you are excited, you ought to be able to tell somebody, especially for those who are watching. If you all haven't done so yet, please share. Please share. Um, go to the House of God Christian Church stream. Send it to them so they can be able to share this and then be able to enjoy this great flow of God tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. We thank God for everything that is going on. Amen. We are, re we are receiving. You can go around, sis, if you want to. Amen. Amen. Praise God. We, um, we thank God for uh, everything tonight. We see, we see that um, the meeting place, churches in the house. We thank God for you. We thank God for you. Praise God. Can we make them feel welcome, house of God? <laughs> Hallelujah. We bless God for you. We bless God for you. Thank God that you follow your man of God. Praise God for you. And we are so glad about it. We're going to, uh, we're going to impede on you real quick for us. You just got in here. We just got in here. We're going to ask if you would come and bless us with a song um, first. And then afterwards, because we're almost time for the word. And then after that, we're going to move into our offering time. Uh, would y'all be able to do that for us at this time? Amen. Bless us with a song um, at this time. And then we will move into our offering time. And then we'll come right back and get ready to present the man of God. Amen. Hey, y'all, for those who are along, we're about to be blessed by this, 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 this great um, praise team, this great choir from, from Columbia, from the Meeting Place Church. Let's, let's receive them to give us a selection, amen, at this time. Amen. Hold on, brother. You, you did? All right, God bless you. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. How many know that God's been mighty, mighty good to you? He's been so, so good. Can we just begin to stand to our feet just for a moment and give our great God a great praise in this place? Can we begin to lift up the sound of praise in this place? For the Lord our God is good and his mercy endure forever. Anybody glad to be among the land of the living on today? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Um, we indeed count it an honor to be here on tonight to worship with you all. Uh, we thank God for our pastor being on here today. Thank you so much for the invitation. Give an honor to Bishop Freeman and everyone in their respective places. Thank you all so much for the invitation. 
Our musicians are literally on the way here. They should be in a few minutes, but we're going to sing something a cappella and just give God honor and glory, something upbeat. Can you give me some shove again? Testing, testing. Oh, here we go. It's we're cooking now. The greatness of the Lord is inconceivable. The love that He shows is unconditional. The power of the Lord is unbeatable. Great is the God we serve. The greatness of the Lord. The greatness of the Lord is the love that he shows, the love that he shows is unconditional. Power of the Lord, the power of the Lord, is unbeatable. Is unbeatable. Great, great is the God we serve. Great, God is great, and greatly to and greatly to be praised. that we serve a great God on day and greatly to and greatly to be praised say God is great God is great oh oh, oh, oh. And, and greatly to be praised say God is great God is great come on declare in the atmosphere and greatly to be Say, say, God is great. God is great. Anybody know for yourself on today that God is great. God is great. Hallelujah. We give you glory. God is great. God is great. Let's go a little bit higher. Oh, and God is God is great. I know. That God is great. Lift your voice and say, God is great. Great God. Say, God is great. God is great. Here we go. And, and greatly to, and greatly to be praised. Now, can we give our great God a great praise on today? Come on, can you give him a great hallelujah? I'm talking about the praise that he is due on today. For your goodness and for your kindness and for your mercy, we offer you praise on today. We offer you a hallelujah on today because you're great. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. You heard him say, God is great. Can they get one with Is God great? Does anybody believe that we serve a great God? And he's greatly to be praised. Lord, brother. All right. Lord, thank you. All right. God is great. And he's greatly to be praised. We want to thank you all for being such a blessing. We want to thank you all for being so kind and just sharing with us your musical gift. We understand that that's just not singing. That's ministering. That's, and, and, and when you're just singing, you're just singing. You're taking up space. But when you're ministering, you are actually taking us to a place. Amen, somebody. I, come on, I said you're taking us to a place. Everybody has a place in the kingdom. 
even now, even now, when we, and every time, they always try to have to trick the saints into giving. But saints, I'm going to say it's giving time, and then those who understand the kingdom principles, we ought to get happy about it. Amen? So I'm going to try. It's giving time. Hallelujah. <laughs> I think, Bishop, the day is going to come when we don't have to try to trick the people into sowing. Amen. And, and, I, and time out for tricks and time out for manipulation. Amen. Because it's not so much that you are just sowing into people or sowing into a house. God has blessed us. God has been good to us. And he has put something in our hands and in our pocket and in our life that we couldn't do by ourselves. Amen, somebody. I don't care how smart we are. We all got degrees. We've all been someplace. But if he would pull his, his spirit from us, our brains wouldn't work. Come on, somebody. If he, would, if he would snatch his presence out of us, all of our intellect would be like marbles in our mind. So with what God has given you, we give back to God. That's all we do. And, and as you give unto God, God says, I will work it out for you. I'll, I'll, I'll give it to you good measures, pressed down and shaken together and running over. Will I allow men to give unto your bosom? Do you know what that really means? While you're looking for ways and, and the system to beat the system, God says, if you just trust me to give unto me what I have desired, what I you ought to freely give, he said, I'll put your spirit and your name on something somebody else's heart you do know that God uses people to bless people right you do know that God uses people to bless people yes he can rain down money by himself but in this natural war the kingdom way God will put you on their heart that's what favor is called right and as we release our faith our seed that he says you know what go see about them re 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 when it's time for promotion remember them when it's time for an open door, open the door for them. Now, I don't know about y'all, but when God opens a door that you don't have a right to, you ought to get happy. Anybody have a, ha, ever had God have to open a door for you that you wasn't qualified for? <laughs> Anybody ever had God open a door for that people didn't want you to come in? But God was so good and he was so kind that he said, I'm going to hold it just for you. I'm, I'm going to make a way just for you. So when these times come, we're coming and say, Lord, thank you. That's all we're doing. That's all we're doing. When, when God has given you something that you couldn't get, because I'll tell you, money don't grow on trees. And if you didn't have the favor of God, you wouldn't have what you have now. So, Lord, here, I thank you. Do you know that that, that, that dollar bill is not really a dollar bill? It is a seed. It's a currency for your future harvest. That when you sow that seed, I, I'm just trying to help somebody who even who's online right now who may think you have money. No, you're not sitting on money. You're sitting on a harvest. And as you release your seed into this atmosphere, God gets busy bringing you to your harvest. Amen, somebody. How many of y'all desire a harvest? Talk to me. Now, maybe you don't need a harvest, but I, I, I still need a couple in my life. There's types of harvest. There's the harvest of plenty, the harvest of, uh, of Neil, and, and the harvest of lean. And there's times when, when, when it's everybody's shouting because it's harvest time and, and either you have little or you have nothing. But, but the Bible teaches us in the principles of, of, of tabernacles that you shout anyway. But how many of y'all are tired of lean harvests and ready to have an abundant harvest? If we trust God with our seed, God will take our seed, send it forth into a bountiful harvest and bring something back to us. I, somebody shout, it's harvest time. You got to understand that when you give unto God, you are literally putting something in your future that you're going to walk into. Glory to God. So for those who are online, I want you to get your seed ready. For those, we're going to give here in the house too, but I'll let me give some information for those who are online. For those who are online, you can give to the house of God a few different ways. You can give by cash app. Our handle is dollar sign house of God 843. If you want to use your credit card or your debit card, you can do that too by going to the browser and typing in www, the word give, G-I-V-E, the number two, the letters H-O-G-C-C dot com. That's give to H-O-G-C-C dot com. You'll be directed to a secure site to where you can give. And we thank you in advance. As you prepare your seed online, we want those who are here in the house to prepare your seed, to get ready, because as we stand to pray, we want to be a blessing um, tonight. We, want, we, 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 are, we are trying our best to fulfill and live out this mandate. 
This, this wasn't just a title. It wasn't just a catchphrase. We're literally in these eight months, Bishop, in the eight months that we have been here, we've literally seen a reshaping of this, of this, of this culture, of this thing here. And there are, there are people who we have, are connected to that are being blessed like never before. And we thank God that we are able to reach out beyond our own culture, our own region, to be a blessing to the kingdom. But do you know we need partners to do that? Amen, somebody. So we thank you in advance for all that you can go in. For those who are here, get your seat ready. Ask everyone that please stand. We're going to ask you that you please stand. Now listen, it was on my heart. And um, because, you know, times like this, we can say, let's run around two or three times. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. I want you all to give your best the first time, okay? We want you to give your best the first time. Uh, we want to be a blessing to the man of God, but we'll take care of that. We want y'all just to worry about sowing into the house, amen? We invited you, and we invited him, so we want to make sure that he's clear on his runway to soar, amen? That's not y'all's responsibility, amen, sometimes. And a lot of times we, we, we use these crowds to manipulate our givings. No, I want you all to give one time. Amen, somebody. I want you all to feel free that whatever you have in your, in your pocket, from your heart, that's what God wants tonight. Amen. Amen. Get your seat, hold it high in the air. Amen. I'm going to give by cash up tonight. Thank you. I want you to get your seed high, hold it high in the air. This is seed that you're holding. It's, it's going to propel something. Glory to God. And I, and I believe that as you release it tonight, while the man of God is declaring the word of God, something supernatural is going to happen to that seed. Glory to God. I believe that something is going to happen to that seed. And by the time you see it again, you won't even recognize it. Glory to God. That it's going to be better than you ever expected. Father God, in the name of Jesus, for those who are here in-house and for those who are here online, who are saying, Lord, you can trust me because I'm bringing gifts of thanks to you right now. Lord, I bring you my best. I give you my thanks, my emotions, Lord, my affection to you, God. But I'm also bringing you my seed, God, because I realize that what I have in my life is not the harvest that I've seen in my vision, in my dream. So, Lord, I give you the seed, Lord, that will propel me to the place, to my harvest. Lord, we trust you with this seed. We release it and we say thank you, Lord. We release and we say thank you for the things that you have done just so I can have this seed. We release it and we say thank you, Lord, because we realize by the time we see it again, eyes have not seen and ears have not heard and neither will have entered into the hearts of man all the things that you have prepared for us. So we thank you for the harvest that is about to show up. We thank you, Lord God, for the bounty that we're about to receive and we bless you, God, in Jesus' name and all glad saints said amen Come on, shout it out. Amen. Come on, give the Lord a praise right where you stand. Hallelujah. We're going to ask now if, our, if you all will stay right where you are. Our usher is going to come, and she's going to be able to facilitate that uh, with you. And while you're here, if you give us some um, give him music, brothers, and we're going to come on in. We're going to do this right now. Amen. Hallelujah. And for those who are watching by way of online, the information should be on the screen right now for the ability to give. And you follow the prompts for the giving. And we thank you in advance for what you have released unto God. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Glory to God. Glory. Thank you. For he is good, for he will give thanks. Ooh, yeah, for he, my Lord, oh, oh, say it, John. To, oh, he, Lord, oh, give thanks, mother. He is worthy, for oh, he is good, because he is good. That's it. We're good. We're good. Huh. Um, give it to Ron. 
Y'all may be seated in the Lord. Praise God. All right, saints. Let me say this. We have been waiting for this moment that it is about to be word time. Amen, somebody. We get excited around here for word. <laughs> Bishop, this is this is this is that gentleman I was telling you about. This is this is that man that I was telling you about that. That uh, um, Bishop, he's anxious to, 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 to see you too. Eh? And we are so excited that God has blessed us to have him with us. Saints of God, I'm talking to those who are online. I'm talking to those who are here because y'all know who, who we have here. Y'all know what's about to happen. Y'all know, y'all heard me. Y'all hear him all the week. But I'm, I'm, I'm still telling you, Bishop, uh, before I announce him, I'm going to tell you something. You posted, um, in the last week or so, you posted that, that three-minute segment on Big. You remember that? You, you supposed to that. So when I saw it, I listened to it, of course, and I listened to your stuff. But it, it, it sent my spirit, because that's what we're talking about, believing God beyond your capacity, believing God beyond your normalcy. So when I took that, when I saw that, we reposted it on our page. Now, what we saw on our page, on the family page and on the open page, and the private messages was almost overwhelming. Because, because see, see, it don't take a long time to convince you that God wants more for you. So we were just overwhelmed and, and, and what God gave us a snippet of what we're about to get tonight. Let me tell you something. This man of God could have been some, as a matter of fact, he was supposed to be someplace else tonight. He was supposed to be someplace else tonight. But as we discussed it, God moved upon his spirit and his heart for him to come here. Come to Mullins to bring the word that God gives him on a regular basis to Mullins. We thank him. We don't take it for granted. Come on. We, we thank God. Amen. And I believe that what he has to give us tonight is exactly what we need. This is, this is a kingdom man. This is God's man. This is a pastor. This is a family man. This is an entrepreneur and a businessman. Do you realize that the Meeting Place Church of Greater Columbia, under the leadership of Bishop Eric J. Freeman, they own their own theater? And, and, and more. Can, can, and when they bought it, it was a time when buying it was not a prominent thing because they were looking down all those times because it was crunched. But the kingdom expanded. We thank God. And anybody that has that much faith to step out into God, even when everybody else says you shouldn't do it and it's working, that's what we want to hear. Hallelujah. I'm excited tonight. I'm excited because money can't buy this. I'm, I'm talking to those who are online. I know, know y'all know, but money can't buy this. We're about to receive something. All y'all turn on TV and y'all watch certain names, and we thank God for every one of those powerful magnetic names. But we have one tonight. We have one. Y'all, that's what you're supposed to say right there. See, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I thought I thought um, Meeting Place would have shouted by now, and, and, and when I when I called his name, <laughs> that, that if nothing else, y'all ought to know. Y'all get it on a regular basis. I'm, I just want to say that for those who have not heard this great man, there's nothing I'm going to say that's going to be able to do him justice other than letting him do what he does. I'm going to ask if the choir would come and give us one more selection. But listen to me. I've, I've heard him minister many a time. I've watched him. I've tuned him in. I've been present. And every time I've been in his presence or under the influence of the word that God gives him virtually, it has literally changed my life. That's not smoke. That's the reality of it. And once you experience it, you'll see for yourself. I'm telling you that God woke you up to bring you here to change your life for the rest of your life. I want you to catch that. Some of y'all didn't know how you was going to make it through beyond this month. God brought you here to change your life for the rest of your life. Some of y'all thought the vision was too big. God brought you here to change your life for the rest of your life. This is word explosion. God has to blow something up 
to blow you up. Amen, something. So we thank God for tonight. We thank God for this man of God. We thank God for this godly man of God. And after the choir comes to bless us, and we thank you for your gift, your ministry gift, but after they finish, the next voice you hear will be God's man. It will be the anointed vessel, the senior pastor of the Meeting Place Church of Greater Columbia, none other than Bishop Eric J. Freeman. Can we give God a, a big old God bless you for this man of God? Hallelujah. Kind of the honor just to be here and just uh, to uh, it be in agreement with what he said. We're going to sing the song that simply says that he is able. How many know that God is able on today? He's able to do exceeding above all that we can ask or think. How many know that the Lord is able? Can we right there give God a he's able praise right there? God, we believe you. Hallelujah. Exceed abundantly above all, all you could ask or think, according to the power that works in you. is able to do just what he said he would do. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Don't up on God cause he won't give up on you. He's able. Anybody know that the Lord is able? Oh, yeah, yeah, he's able, yeah, oh, 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 yeah, yeah, everybody say God, God is able to do just what he said, what he said, he would do, he's gonna fulfill, gonna fulfill, and we promise to you. Oh, oh, oh. 
the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. His truth is all generations. And that's the reason we open our mouths and declare he's able, he's able, he's able. He's able, he's able. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the witness that we 
declare now, O God, without the fear of contradiction, that you are able. You are the only true and living. Mighty are the works of your hand. We acknowledge your presence in this house. Thank you for meeting us in the house. We celebrate you in the midst of this assembly. Have your way now, O oh God. Breathe in this place like you've never moved before. We're going to give all glory to you. I believe tonight is somebody's night. I believe, God, you're going to do something big. Somebody's going to be healed. Someone will be delivered. Someone's going to be set free. Have your way now, O oh God. I thank you that strongholds are coming down. Principalities are going to be displaced. Demons are going to be chased. Brothers and sisters are going to be set free. The fetters of iron are going to be shattered. The vision is going to be kindled. Life is going to be reinvigorated. Hope is going to be restored. Strength is going to come to folks like never before. Thank you for doing a new thing. You're going to do something so remarkable, oh God, that nobody but you will get to glory. Have your way now, oh God, in the midst of this assembly. Have your way now, oh God. Restore homes, oh God. Birth ministry. Release a new dimension of anointing. Send forth breakthrough, oh God. I know you're going to do it. I know you're going to do it, oh God. I know you're going to do it. I know you're going to do it, God. You're the God who is able. You're the God who is able. You are the God who is able. You are the God who is able to do exceeding abundantly. Above all we can ask or think, according to the power that worketh within us. I know you're going to do it, oh God. I know you're going to do it, oh God. My children are going to get saved. My house is going to be restored. My finances are going to turn around. My body is going to be healed. My God, I praise you. I know you're going to do it. I know you're going to do it. My business is going to prosper. Promotion is going to come. In the name of Jesus, nations are going to turn. Regions are going to shift. The kingdom is going to go forth. I know you're going to do it, oh God, because you're the God who is able. Your Father, I also pray. I pray, now, oh God, that you would take this man, servant Eric Freeman. Lord, hide me behind the cross. Keep me forever under the drippings of your blood so that your name and your name alone is heard. Get the glory in, out, and through my life. And please, God, I pray that you would make your strength perfect in my weakness. And we shall forever be careful to give all the praise unto you. As a matter of fact, God, we're not going to wait till the battle is over. Oh, my Shemai, yeah. We're not going to wait till the battle is over. We're not going to wait till the battle is over. But Father, we're going to praise you in advance. We're going to praise you like it's already done. We're going to glorify you like the word has already transformed, equipped, and empowered us. We're going to praise you like the battle is already ours and the victory is already ours and joy is already ours and peace is already ours. We're not going to wait till the battle is over. We're going to shout right now. In the name of Jesus, the Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Oh, now, Lord, I praise you. In his name we pray. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, we give you glory, God. We give you glory, God. Let your glory fall in this house, oh God. We give you glory, oh God. We give you glory. We give you glory. Let your majesty be made known. Make your majesty be made known. Let your majesty be made known. Let your majesty. Let your majesty. Oh my, yeah, yeah, my shake, Lord, my Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Glory. 
Glory in the name, in the name, in the name, in the name, in the name of Jesus the Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Oh, no. Lord, I praise you. Hallelujah. And the people of God said, Amen. Put those hands together. Give God a mighty. And if you need Bible for it, the word of God says, Clap your hands, oh ye people. Clap your hands, oh ye people. But it doesn't stop there. But it says, Open your mouth and shout with a voice of triumph. Hallelujah. Praise God for it. His presence, you may be seated in the presence of the Almighty God. I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. And it is a high blessing to be in the house of God, Christian church. To the said bishop, we salute you, sir. And certainly his bride, I believe. Yes, my God. Praise be unto our God, the dear Prince of the Church, and his bride, and certainly to the angel of this house, we salute you, sir, for the hospitality. Let's give God praise for Brother Doctor, Pastor Ivory One, and his dear bride. Where, where are we? Come on, let's give God praise for Lady White. Hallelujah. We are so grateful that we were able to come and to share with you during this word explosion. I believe that this is a season where God is doing exactly what he said he would do. He said, I will reward those that diligently seek me. And when I hear a theme like word explosion it lets me know that I'm in the midst of dear brothers and sisters that are seeking the heart of God. It is impossible to know God's heart without his word. You know my heart because my mouth is speaking. The Bible says out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And so we cannot say we know God's heart. We don't know God's word because he speaks through his word and ladies and gentlemen we are in a word explosion give God praise for this word explosion season we thank God for these minstrels that have traveled with us the voices of encouragement brother dash our director and these tremendous musicians who are so gracious to make their way here for he said two hours and that's about right given a little stop we had along the way with the uh, with the construction on 20. Um, let's give God praise for the TMPC voices of encouragement. And I see a few of our parishioners that are here and ministers and elders and women and men of God and deacons. And we uh, certainly thank God for each and every one of you. Let's give God praise. Sister Hammond and Dr. Thompson and uh, these dear women of God here and the deacon and I won't get to, I was about to start calling all the names. We won't do that. Um, but um, there was a word from the Lord. Um, my bride is not traveling with me today, but we do have our oldest uh, here in the house. He came to minister in song. Uh, and uh, this is our baby. She's 27. But well, she's still our baby. Uh, Tanae Angela Freeman. Come on, Tanae. Let them see you. That's our, that's our oldest baby. I want uh, to invite you, and we're going to visit just a few scriptures, and I will just hold uh, right along where uh, you lifted your theme. I will just stay right along in that same area. But Hebrews uh, chapter, chapter 12, we'll begin, we'll just lay that initially. Hebrews chapter 12, and... Um, going to go four places, four different places. Uh, Hebrews 12, Romans 12, Galatians 1, and Matthew 28. In the book of Hebrews chapter 12, we find this. 
reading for our hearing verses 1 and 2 therefore we also and this is the new king james version version since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily besets or ensnares us. Let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, the Alpha and Omega, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Now, let's go to Romans chapter 12, another Pauline epistle, and uh, in the 12th chapter of Romans, uh, we'll just lift verses 1 and 2 there as well, uh, knowing that the line of thought uh, is kindred to what we read in Hebrews, though to a different congregation. It's the same apostle that is lifting uh, these words of admonition. And he says in uh, verse 1 of Romans 12, I beseech you, therefore, my brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed unto this world. Be ye transformed you might prove what is that good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. What is his will? Let's go to Genesis chapter 1. What is God's divine mandate and will for his creation? Verse 27 of Genesis 1 says, So God created man, mankind, in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Then God blessed them. Somebody say, I'm blessed. And God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply fill the earth and subdue it have dominion over the fish of the sea over the birds of the air and over every living thing that moves on the earth and then turn with me to the gospel of Matthew chapter 28 what is the good perfect an acceptable will of God. Matthew 28, the word of God spoken through the word that became flesh, the word that was and is and shall forever be, Jesus the Christ of Nazareth says in verse 18 of Matthew 28, Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, all authority has been given to me in heaven, and on earth go therefore somebody say go and make disciples of all nations somebody say grow baptizing them in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit teaching them to observe all things that i have commanded you and lo i am with you always even to the end of the age. Amen. So for the scripture, thanks be unto God. You may be seated in the presence of the Almighty God. 
Our theme for this word explosion is fulfilling the mandate. Fulfilling the mandate. I will give as a subsummative subtopic fulfilling the mandate colon a divine hand off fulfilling the mandate colon a divine hand off now I've got plenty of monitor whoever's controlling these monitors you can actually bring me down to about 60% of wherever I am and that way I don't cause any feedback Fulfilling the mandate, colon, a divine handoff. The book of Romans has been lifted as the constitution of the church of Jesus Christ. That if you want to understand or desire, have a heart to understand the fundamental, fundamental tenets of our faith, those fundamental tenets of our faith can be clearly sourced in the book of Romans, Paul's letter to the church, to the house of God at Rome. Paul, having never been there before, writes to this community of young believers. Teaches them that when they came into relationship with Christ, that you can't come into without coming out of. That the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. He goes on to lift to them that there is a tug of war. Whenever you're in the race of coming out and going in. Yet he says that because of the work of Christ that is complete. There is therefore now no condemnation them that are in Christ. That foundation is what allows us to walk and be led by the Spirit, not by the flesh. The flesh has to be subdued because you cannot worship a God in spirit and in truth and be carnal at the same time. And so Paul admonishes these young believers, and I appreciate how he explores and explodes the word for them, by saying, I'm not here to condemn you. I am here to offer a challenge before you. That if you've received the gift, you ought to live like you have the gift. So I beseech you, my brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, note that he does not call them to walk this out without coming under the mercy of God. Because no one does what he's getting ready to challenge them to do without understanding that if I do it, it's because of God's mercy. No mandate of God is ever pursued without his mercy. Does not matter how gifted you are. Doesn't matter how educated you are. Does not matter what kind of pedigree you might have, what schools you matriculated. The size of your bank account, the number of square feet in your house, the type of vehicle that you drive. None of that qualifies you for the mandate. 
The only way you can fulfill the mandate is you've got to come under the mercy of God. God's mercy is apprehended by us presenting our bodies as a living sacrifice. Holy and acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable service. Now, I didn't think I'd get a lot of good shouting there because we like a lot of name it, claim it, blab it, grab it, and, you know, just... Stay, turn around, spend three times, and put a thousand dollars on the altar, and everything's gonna be. But living sacrifice, living sacrifice to activate the mandate of God upon your life. I gotta crucify my flesh. I gotta crucify and bite my tongue. I can't just do whatever I wanna do. I gotta come under the mercy of God. Well, we don't shout on that kind of stuff, but if. You want the word of God to bring an explosion in your life. His word only works when you are submitted to his mercy and your flesh has surrendered to his will. It is actually the highest form of worship. That's the reason when you look at the word, uh, uh, when we look at the word for Romans chapter 12 and verse 1, uh, where it says, which is a reasonable service, the word service that is there, uh, the word behind it, uh, Dr. White is Latreya, and um, uh, the word Latreya means an act of worship. And so God says that when you crucify your flesh, when you present your bodies as a living sacrifice, it is an act of worship unto God. Now, a part of what we don't understand is any time we are presenting our bodies as living sacrifices so that we can prepare ourselves to walk out the mandate of God, it's messy business. Walking out the mandate of God is messy business. You know, somebody said it with me. Say it's messy business. It's messy business. It's messy business. It's messy business. Uh, uh, um, several years ago, um, we decided, a, a friend of mine, uh, we decided that uh, one Christmas we were going uh, to uh, uh, harvest our own food, of, uh, uh, Deacon Noel, um, to harvest our own food for the Christmas meal. And um, some of y'all don't know what that means. You're looking at me, but I thought I was in Manning, South. No, no, where am I? I'm in Mulling, South Carolina. And, uh, and I, you know, uh, and when you harvest your own food, that means you don't go to IGA. No, 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 you don't go to IGA after they did everything to get it nice and prepared. No, no, you, you go out in the field somewhere. And so we went down to Leesburg and said, um, now listen, um, Leesville, Batesburg area. And we said, listen, um, we want that goat over there. And um, they brought the goat over to us. And I'll never forget, uh, they asked us, they said, um, do you want us to um, shoot the goat for you? And uh, since when we got out there, it, it was about dusk, and it was just two black men out here in the middle of these two brothers. And we said, no, no, no guns, no guns, no guns. Um, we will harvest it ourselves. And so my friend told me, he said, now, um, Brother Freeman, he said, I want you to jump on the goat's back and, and hold the goat. And uh, he was a physician, so he said, I brought my scalpel, and we're going to kill the goat. Uh -huh. We're going to kill it kosher. All right? And so I, I jumped on the goat, and um, I was holding the goat. And do you all know what that goat did? That goat started bucking. That goat said, no, no, I'm not going down without a fight. Uh, 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 and here's my friend the whole time he starts talking to the goat and says I'm a physician I've never used what I learned to save life to take life and he's getting all philosophical I said man if you don't hurry up and kill this bucking goat and, and so now the goat is bucking and he's philosophizing and finally he strikes the goat and when he strikes the goat everything that is in the goat's heart comes out of his artery and it was messy business we, we, we took the goat and drove it back to my friend's house and when we got to the house we went into the garage and we told our wives and our children and our mama them and everybody else we are getting ready to prepare a Christmas meal and when they saw us hang up that goat and began to cut that goat, they said, I don't think we want it. It's too messy. It's too messy. We said, well, how do you think you get that food that you get from the grocery store? 
But many times we can't handle the messy process of a living sacrifice. I'm trying to see if I got some folk in here that are willing to go through the process of, of presenting your bodies as a living sacrifice. It might be messy, but I'm under a mandate. Look at somebody and tell them I'm under a mandate. I'm under a mandate. Born in a mess, but I'm under a mandate. I'm under mandate. I'm under mandate. And so I beseech you, my brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Somebody shout, a mandate is messy business. You see, and be not conformed, be not conformed, be not conformed. See, you can't be like everybody else and be who God called you to be. All right, let me say that again because that didn't shout as good as it just preached. You can't be like everybody else and be who God called you to be. Rewind. I got to play it all over again because it went right over your head again. You can't be like everybody else and at the same time be who God called you to be. Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing, renewing of your mind renewing of your mind uh, that word renewing comes from a little word that means uh, i think the greek word behind it is anachronosis uh, anachronoi depending on which conjugation you look at and um it is actually the term that is also used for renovation so so when we think about renewing the mind we're we're talking about a mandate that is on you and your mind must be renewed and when you talk about renewing the mind, we're talking about renovating your thinking. You see, you can't have small thinking and do big things. See, you can't have small thinking. And, um, and renovating the mind is messy. It is. I, I don't know if anyone has ever done a renovation project before. But um, several years ago, y'all get to hear all my stories for the introduction here. I decided I was going to renovate my kitchen. And um, we bought this house out in the middle of these woods, a little farm. And everybody in the family said, we ain't signed up for all of this. You know, and we got chickens and everything else. So I said, now, the one thing I'll do to kind of just fix the little problem by moving everybody out here in the middle of these woods is I renovate the kitchen and make the kitchen a little more modern. I, the contractor did not tell me uh, how messy the process would be. See, all I saw was the end picture. And that picture at the end was pretty. And I made the mistake of showing that to everybody else in the house. So they thought that in order for the renovation to happen, all they had to do was just close their eyes and open up, ta-da. And so I said to the contractor the first day, he tore the house up. I said, oh, Lord Jesus, can't nobody come in. My first lady, come in and see this right here. It's a wrap. I said, can you um, not be so messy in this renovation? He said, no, no, because um, in order for us to do those cabinets, we can't just put paint on top of the old paint. So what we got to do is we got to strip out everything else that's in it. Before we put anything in it, we got to tear down everything that gets in the way of the renovation. So in order for it to be a new kitchen, to be renewed, before we put it, we don't just put lipstick on a pig. No, we got to take all the pig out of that. Are y'all hearing me? We got to take all the other. We got to strip everything in here. And that might be a messy process. But if we strip everything in here, whenever we begin to put what's supposed to be in here, it's going to be glorious. I, I don't know about anyone else in here, but I'm believing for God to do something so big. 
big in my life that when you see me, you won't recognize me anymore. But the mandate is going to be messy because he's got to renew me. He's got to strip everything, strip all of that anger, strip all of that unforgiveness, strip all of that resentment, strip all of that bitterness out of me before he puts what he really has in my heart. It's messy, but I'm under a mandate. Huh. Somebody shot him under a mandate, mandate. Yeah. A mandate. It's messy business. Be not conformed to this world. Be ye transformed by the renovating. By the renewing of your mind. Hey, yeah. uh, the, the only way. You can prove the good, acceptable, and perfect will of God is your mind must be renovated. Yeah. And when my head gets right and my heart is on the altar, that's why I couldn't be conformed. I had to get my head right. That's the reason I had to be a living sacrifice. I had to get my heart right. But when my head and heart Get it right. Then my hands will do right. Yeah. Um, that, that it says that you might prove what is that good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. Prove that the word that's behind it um, is not like, you know, uh, uh, like evidence. You know, like here's evidence that proves that I did the good, acceptable, and perfect will. The actual word, and, and maybe a more accurate rendering, depending on which translation you read, would be that you might discern. See, many times we can't discern his good, acceptable, and perfect will because our head and our hearts are so messed up. The heart is fixed by, fixed by becoming a living sacrifice. The head is fixed through the renovation of a renewing of the mind. It's messy business, but if you go through the mess... It helps you to discern the mandate. That you might discern the mandate. That you might discern the good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. That you might discern the mandate. That you might discern the good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. This is my last word study. The word mandate comes from two Latin words. Manus dare. Mandate. Our theme is fulfilling the mandate. Subsummative is a divine handoff. The word mandate comes from two Latin words Manus, dare, M-A-N-U-S, D-A-R-E. The word manus is the same word in the Latin that means hand. The word dare means give. And so the word mandate means to give into your hand. Whenever we are under a mandate from God, it means that God gives it to our hands. <laughs> All right. See, see, um, I grew up, and y'all probably grew up hearing this, and we should sing it. It's the right song. It's the right song. So we should be singing it. Uh, one of the songs we used to sing is, Lay Your Hands. On me, y'all didn't sing that around these parts. Lay your hands where? And what would you say after that? I don't mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you want his hand on you. Because there's absolutely nothing you can do without the hand of God on you. But God never puts his hand on you for you to do nothing with that hand. <laughs> Anytime God puts his hand on a son or a daughter, it is to free that person's hand to carry.
carry out the work that is under the hand of God. Yeah. Yeah. Um, after his hand is on you, your hands got to do something. Um, I um, remember as a little boy preacher um, and then had a whole circle of friends that were all really remarkable individuals and um, the old saints would come and say God's got his hand on you God has had a hand on you God's got his hand on you but what they taught us was not just simply to walk around like we're just the latest Madonna that just showed up on the scene because God's got his hand on me. When they said that, that meant go back there and hold that door as an usher. When they said that, that meant go sweep the fellowship hall. Because if his hand is on you, your hands ought to have something to do. Okay. I keep getting in trouble. My goodness. Yeah. Yeah. See, See, the mandate requires God's hand and yours. Jesus came and walked with his disciples for three years. And after walking with his disciples for three years, he calls them back really to an amplification of what God originally intended for mankind. When man was originally created before the fall, God gave them a mandate. Scooped them out of the dust of the earth with his hand, breathed into their nostrils. And then he gave them a, a command, gave them a mandate. He said, be fruitful, multiply, replenish, subdue, and have dominion. When he saw there was no one in there to work the garden, he said, I will create man and create them in my own image so that they can work with their hand what I have commissioned with my hand. Yes, yes. Jesus, after three years with his disciples, it opened blind eyes, unstopped deaf ears, walked on the water and called Peter to walk on it too. And when Peter started sinking, took him by the hand. Peter walked and got back in the boat. He raised widow, the widow of Nain's son, had healed the centurion's child. He had taken two fish and five loaves of bread and fed 5,000. He told the woman, the woman, thou art loose, and she straightened up and walked. He took a withered hand and said, if you just stretch it, if you just stretch it, everything that's withered is going to be released. This same Jesus, the one that when they came too early for him and said, we're looking for Jesus, he said, I'm the one. And just with his words, uh, straightway, everyone that got in the way of his word fell down straightway and was uh, incapacitated. This is the same Jesus that walked uh, through, uh huh, walk, walk through uh, the, 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 the valley and the shadow of death in the wilderness. Uh, and while he was there, every time, Satan tried to tempt him he responded back and responded back and responded back with the word and came out stronger this is the same Jesus that told the winds to be still and the waves to sit down this is the same Jesus that had are you hearing what I'm saying this same Jesus after three years working with his disciples Walking with them, and his hand was set to all kinds of matters. After he is crucified, and he, uh, he dies, and is buried, and conquers sin, death, and the devil. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. This same Jesus that raised the dead and got up from the dead looks at his disciples and says, greater work shall you do. And um, by the time we get to the end of the 28th 
at the end of the Gospel of Matthew, the 28th chapter, in the end of the 28th chapter, we hear once again a mandate. He says to them, go. Wait a second, Jesus. You've been doing all the going. We've just been riding. You, you, I mean, I, you want us to go? Go! Okay, you coming with us? No, I'm ascending. <laughs> you go, and I'm going up. But Jesus, that's not comfortable. I'm used to you being here and doing everything for me. You're the one we called on when the folks got hungry and we didn't have enough food. You're the one we called on when the man's child was sick, cutting himself, and we couldn't cast the demon out. What are we going to do now that you're gone? And when any time God begins to put a mandate over you, he's going to stretch you. He's going to challenge you. To go into places you've never gone, in ways you've never gone, to do things you've never done before. Anytime his hand is on you, he's going to challenge you. One of the things that we have to remember, I'm almost done. Give me about another hour and 15 minutes. Um, the word says that. The Christ is Alpha and Omega. Alpha man over here. So. It does not say Alpha through Omega. Are you with me? He says, author and finisher. We're in Hebrews now. What that means is just because God can do anything does not mean he'll do everything. All right, let me, let me make it more personal for you. Just because God can do anything for you doesn't mean God will do everything for you. Come on, house of God, talk to me in here. See, a part of our problem is uh, we know he can do anything for us, but we miss that he's not called to do everything for us because if he did everything for us, why would we need a mandate? It says Alpha and Omega, not Alpha through Omega. And what that means is you got to do the messy work of the mandate. This is while he is the author and while he is the finisher and while he is alpha and while he is omega, I still got to do beta, gamma, delta, epsilon, zeta, eta, theta, order, capital, lambda, mu, nu, psi, omicron, pi, rho, sigma, tau, epsilon, phi, chi, and psi. Everything in between. Oh, I feel the glory of God right now. I need you to look at somebody and tell them I'm in the middle of a mandate. Eh? Yeah, yeah, I'm in the middle of a man. If it looks a little strange, if, if I act a little peculiar, uh, the reason I'm acting like this uh, is because I'm in the middle of a mandate. Eh? I need you to look at one more person. We're about to get up out of here uh, and say, neighbor, uh, if God is stretching you, to go in places you've never gone before. If God is stretching you to do things you've never done before. If God is stretching you uh, to walk in ways you've never walked before. Uh, if he's telling you to go. Uh, if he's telling you to sow. Uh, if he's telling you to grow. Uh, you might be in the middle uh, of a mandate. Uh, look at one more person uh, and say neighbor. The reason uh, it 
feels a little discombobulated. Uh, the reason uh, things feel a little bit out of sorts uh, is because I'm under a mandate. Uh, remember, a mandate uh, comes from two words. Uh, manas. Uh, Daughtering. It means to put our gifts into your hands. Somebody nudge your neighbor and say, I'm under a mandate, which is a divine hand off. I feel the glory of God. One last story. When I was a young man, still kind of young, I used to run track and field. And one of the events in track and field was the 400 relay. And in that relay, what would happen is you had an anchor. You had a person that was the third leg, a person that was the second, and a person that was the first. And when the first took off, they had a baton in their hand. And one of the most important aspects of the 4 by 100 relay is the handoff. Because you could not win, no matter how fast every individual might be. You could not win if they did not understand how to make a handoff. God told me to tell you, let us lay aside every weight. I feel a word explosion about to take off in this place that so easily besets you. And let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Look at your neighbor huh, and say, neighbor, huh, I got a race huh, that's been set before me. Huh, and if I look a little strange, huh, I'm positioning myself huh, for a divine hand. Huh. Somebody asked the question, huh, who's your first leg huh, and who's your last? Huh? Tell them I'm the man in the middle. Huh, but my first leg huh, is the God who said, huh, I'm the author and my last leg is the God who said I'm the finisher so the mandate is I pick up where God left off and I run my race somebody shout glory if I gotta pray until the atmosphere shifts I'm gonna run until God shows up if I gotta fast until something breaks in me. I'm going to walk in my mandate until God shows up. I feel the glory of God. House of God. He's giving you a vision. He gave it to you. That's the first man. But you got to write the vision and make it plain. Saints of God, you got to read it and you got to run it. And if you can't shut the divine hand off. The Bible says, I feel the glory of God. He will pray for the vision terror. Wait on it. Wait on it. Keep running in the mandate. Take the hand off and run until the vision shows up in your life. Run until you see everything God promised you. Run until your finances become everything God declared. Run until the mandate to go and make to be fruitful and to replenish and to subdue and to have dominion shows up in your life. I feel the power of God. Somebody open your mouth. Throw your hand up. Throw your hand up. And say, Lord, I thank you for putting me in the middle of a divine hand off. I'm in the middle of where you're dreaming. I'm in the middle of a divine hand off. Why are you acting that way? I'm in the middle of 
a divine handoff. Why are you believing for something so big? I'm in the middle of a divine handoff. Run, 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 run. Yes, run, 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 run. Yes, yes, Lord. Get ready uh, to fulfill the mandate. Uh, get ready uh, to see it come to pass. Uh, it's getting ready. It's getting ready. It's getting ready. Uh, it's getting ready. Uh, yes! Get ready to happen. Uh, yes! Uh, get ready to happen. Uh, yes! Uh, on the mark. Yes, Lord. I feel a yes, Lord. The answer to the mandate is yes. The answer to the mandate is yes. The answer to the mandate. My soul. My soul. My soul. Throw your hand back and say yes, Lord. I'm being living. Sacrifice. Yes, Lord. I won't be conformed. Put your hand on your head. Yes, Lord. Make it as messy as it needs to be. But the mandate is too important for me to miss it. The mandate is too important for me to miss it. The mandate transform a mind is too important. I need to discern your will. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes. Oh, your mark. Oh, your marks. Where is the mark? It's in the world. My mark is the word of God. Oh, your mark. Get set. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Go. Somebody put those hands in the and start glory in here. I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle of a divine handoff. A mandate is a divine handoff. It's when God puts it in the hands of his children and says, go. Go and grow. Go and be fruitful. You go and multiply, replenish, subdue, and have dominion. Go until everything that I declared is made manifest. Go make disciples of nations. I'm under a mandate. We're under a mandate. Somebody say, I'm under a mandate. I'm under, I'm under a mandate. I'm... I'm under a mandate. That means I'm under a divine handoff. That's the reason my hands can't get involved in everything. I, I work too hard on my heart and my head to have lazy hands, but I'm in the middle of a divine handoff. Why do you believe it can happen? Because God put it in my hands. Why do you believe it can turn around? Because God put it in my hands. Why do you believe it's going to come to pass? Because God put it in my hands. Somebody say, I'm in a divine handoff. A divine, a divine handoff. My goodness, we could just about shout here. I feel like dancing. I, I feel a, I feel a, I feel a stirring in my spirit. I, I could just about dance right here. I, I don't know about anyone else, but if the mandate is on you, if his hand is on you, and you know you got some work to do, you know you got some work to do. I, I need you to just put those hands together. Come on, come on, come on. I feel just about like giving him glory right along in here. If you're in the middle of a divine handoff, 
My God, it might not be a perfect handoff, but there's enough mercy to cover me to the other side. I'm going to run the race that he set before me with endurance. And the author and the finisher of my faith is going to I feel the glory of God in here. Somebody open your mouth and give him glory. Open your mouth and give him praise. That's it. 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 I tell you for about 30 seconds uh, to begin to put dancing in your feet. If you know you've been running a long time and you know you're not tired yet, the mandate, the hand is still on you and your hand uh, still has one of the signs of a good runner if they know how. this problem that's the reason i can't stay in that foolishness i'm in the middle of a divine hand of ah, yes i got to shake this thing off i got to throw aside every weight that so easily besets me because I'm in the middle of a divine handoff. I got a race to run. I got a race to run. I got a mandate to fulfill. I got a race to run. Excuse me. The fathers of I must fall off. Yes. Ah, yes. I feel old time church. I feel old time church in here. My God, I feel old time church. My God, I feel it. Woo! Well, God's turning it around right now. He's turning it around right now. He's turning it around. He's moving some stuff. He's rearranging some stuff. Get ready for your hands. Everything you set your hands on, God's going to prosper it. You're in the middle of a divine handoff. Yes! yes. If we were under a different protocol, we could go a lot farther with this. Oh, now I see. Oh, my. I feel prayer meeting in here. I feel prayer meeting. Oh, now I see. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why it was so messy. It was just a divine handoff. That's all. That's why it's so awkward right now. You just in the middle of a divine handoff but there's enough mercy hey yeah uh, there's enough mercy to get you to the other side there's enough mercy there's enough mercy to get you to the i am i say uh, yeah, you know dr white talked about the movie theater the radio station, the bookstores, and the e-commerce company, and the university, and all the things that are happening on our campus. But I got one explanation, and that explanation is we're in the middle of a divine handoff. We're under mandate, and we're just fulfilling our obligation. And if you get into the middle, into the hand huh? if you get in the middle huh? if you get under the mandate huh? you too huh? can have a divine get ready for a divine 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 hand up hey. Hey, uh, let me
me just say this. Uh, let me just say this. I started. I started in Genesis chapter 1 with the original mandate. Then Satan came and mankind fell. The last Adam, Jesus, came and took back everything that the devil tried to take from God's creation. And what he was doing in chapter 28 of the Gospel of Matthew was he said, I'm going to take it back from the devil and hand it back to you. A divine handoff is God taking back everything that the enemy tried to steal from you and giving it back to you. I'm telling somebody in here tonight, uh, God's getting ready to return to you. Uh, everything, the canker worm, the canker worm is going to have to spit it back up again. Uh, everything uh, that the devil tried to take from you, you're in the middle of a divine uh, handoff. Uh, he's giving it back. 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 Uh, you can't have it. Uh, reach up and grab it. Uh, he's giving uh, it back. Uh, oh. You shall recover it. Oh, I said you shall recover. I'm trying to encourage somebody right now. You need to understand what a divine handoff is. It means stuff that the devil should have never had his hand on. He's getting ready to unhand it and then hand it off to you and say, this is what I intended in the first place. Now go run with what I had from you from the very foundation of the earth. Yes, Lord. I'm in a handoff. I'm in the middle of a divine handoff. That's how I'm going to fulfill the mandate. I'm, a, I'm, I'm in the middle of a divine. Oh, a divine handoff. Now listen to me. I feel prayer in the house. And I'm going to lay hands, but I do want to reach my hands. Oh, now I see. If you lift your hands wherever you are, those streaming via the internet. Whenever you come under the divine hand of God, and he places you in the midst of a divine handoff, God takes you through a time of heart and head preparation. So your hands can handle what he hands you. I speak over your life. You can handle it. Oh, Nasha. You can handle it. You're in the middle of a divine handoff, but you can handle it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Come on. Say, lift those hands. Lift them high. You can handle Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. You can handle it. You're in the middle of a divine handoff, but God, I... I hear it just as clear. You can handle it. The sacrifice was not in vain. The sacrifice was not in vain. The sacrifice was not. It was mercy. But it was a part of God's mandate. He's getting ready to hand it off. And you can handle it you can handle it you can handle it oh no you can handle it 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 oh god lord i praise you for what you are doing what you have done oh god jesus 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 oh god oh, 
Naya. Thank you, Father. Thank you for a divine hand off to the life of your daughter, the life of your son, to the life of this great ministry work. I sense that there is a hand off transpiring for your glory. Now we go and we grow. We go and we grow. We run the race that is set before us with endurance. We go and we grow. We go and we grow. We follow the witness of Christ. Who taught us that he is the author and the finisher. But in between we go and grow. In the middle we go and grow. In the midst we have the handoff and we handle. We handle. We handle. We handle what he's handed us for his glory. We go and grow. 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 We thank you for it. And we praise you. I speak prophetically into the life of that dear heart that was second guessing themselves. But Father, you've called them to speak and minister. Give them the courage to go with boldness. Thank you for the divine handoff, the mandate. Thank you for giving into our hands a work. Thank you for giving into our hands a work and gracing us by your mercy to handle it for your glory that we might discern and prove your good acceptable and perfect will now we give you praise now we give you praise now we give you glory and we give you honor In the name of Jesus, the Christ of Nazareth, we know it's done. People of God said, Amen. Put those hands together and give God praise. For this great pastor, we turn it back over to him. Give God praise for the man of God, the said man of this house. Hallelujah. in my soul as you were playing that because I have a yes for God this house this ministry and the people of God that represented here we came here because we gave God a yes and we we knew that when we heard this tonight it was going to do something to us in the hell that has been unleashed and leading up to this has been crazy. But Lord, we made it to tonight. And I said that once we heard tonight, you would change your life for the rest of your life. I don't know about y'all, but I, I hold that for myself. Because I take this very seriously, this divine handoff. I take this seriously. Bishop came and he charged us and challenged us that we ain't got time to play. And I can say this for the House of God Christian Church. And I, I said this to Bishop and I mean this. I've said it to my Bishop. For where we're going, we have to see it differently. For where we're going, we have to hear it differently. We have to allow God to expose us to where we're going. 
And if you never humble yourself, if you never submit to that next level of power, if you never submit to someone who can pour into something that is actually empty, you'll never get there. And for a house of God, Christians, we got poured into tonight. I wonder if there's anybody else in here tonight who can say, I got poured into tonight. I, I know y'all get poured into all the time, but I thank God for tonight. Bishop, I thank God for tonight. For those who are online, if you can just type in, I got blessed tonight. I got poured into tonight. Dick, he, he blessed us tonight. Now, nah, nah, nah. He, he, he walked that thing. Amen. He, he blessed us. But I want to say this. I know he got to go. He got a long way to go. He got to get on the world. And I'm not going to hold you. No long spills. But I want to say this. If you're going, I'm talking to the house of God. I'm talking to the, those house gods who's watching. I'm talking to the house guy Christians who's watching those who are here. If we're going to make it, we have to make sure we do our due diligence and we take special care to the baton in which we was given. We've heard the word tonight. We've heard the word. It's going to cost us something because you're not going to get it free. But Bishop, after 52 years of your service in this house, to still be here, to still be here to see how we handle another divine handoff. I'm proud because I know where we're going. He showed me pictures and glimpses and of it, and I'm telling you, we have never been where we're going. But what we experience tonight is in that direction. <laughs> so we thank God for this man of God. Can y'all help me thank God for the man of God, Bishop Eric Freeman, to, for the night? Did not he bless us? Come, come on. Did not he bless us? <laughs> Turn everything upside down. <laughs> come on, Bishop. We're going to, we're going to move. We're going to move. We're going to move. So we'll give him last words so he can get on the road. Thank y'all for coming. Thank y'all. Meeting place. Greater Columbia. Thank y'all. We appreciate y'all. Because you just didn't come to take up space. You added to the glory, to the atmosphere of the house. Thank you for your giftings. Thank you. Brothers, thank you. God bless you. Songs, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Let's get ready to go. We're going to turn it back over to the hands of the man to give last, re last result. Listen, let me say this to you. Keep praying for us. And I, and I say this because you won't ever see us out here holding fish fries. You're not going to see that. You're not going to see us killing no birds. You're not going to see us running the house of God into no, into no money exchange place. You're not going to see it. But what you're going to see is us dependent upon God. And sometimes when you stand on principles, then you, you, you know, been there. When you stand on principles, you know, God didn't call us to be a gimmick church. He calls us to be a faith kingdom church. And I believe that if we apply the principles in which God sends forth in his word, you can't do nothing but win. Amen? Winning is not being bigger than someone else. Winning is obeying and doing the best of what God assigned you to do. So with that, we have heard the word tonight that we will receive the baton in this next level of mandate, but we will grow. We will go and we will grow. <laughs> Listen, we're going to get out of here. Y'all keep praying for us. We're going to keep praying for you. I'm going to turn it back over in the hands of uh, this dear brother. God bless him tonight. Let's hear the last words from Bishop Eric Freeman. Let him dismiss us. And then we'll be, we pray for y'all on the road too. Amen. I'm praying that God will watch over y'all. Keep you safe until we come together again. I say yes, Lord, yes, to your will and to your way. 
I say yes, I'll say yes. Lord, yes, I will trust. When your spirit speaks, speaks to me with my whole, with my whole heart. And my answer will be, will be yes. Lord, yes. One more time, I say yes, Lord, yes. To your will and to your way. Oh, I'll say, I will trust you and obey. When your spirit speaks to me with my whole heart, and my answer will be. Bishop, thank you, sir, for the impartation. We certainly receive the word spoken. And, Pastor, we appreciate and urge the invitation into the house of God. Thank you for your hospitality to the Meeting Place Church, those that have come to share. I pray God would multiply your generosity 1,000-fold. And even now, I pray traveling mercies for those that traveled from Columbia and each of you here as you're traveling back to your homes now lift your hands with me you walk out of here stronger better and wiser you walk out of here with a determination to fulfill the mandate you walk out of here in the middle in the middle in the middle of a divine handoff. You walk out of here knowing by the grace and mercy of God that you can handle the kingdom business of the Father. So now, Father, as we depart from this place, but never from your presence, your power, or your promise, we pray that your Holy Spirit would keep us, guide us, lead us, and direct us. Make us witnesses not only in word, but in deed also. So that your Son and our Savior, Jesus the Christ, might forever be lifted up. All men might be drawn unto him. This is our heart's desire. It's in the strong and mighty name of Jesus Christ we say with uplifted voices, thank you, Lord. It's in the name of Jesus we say together, thank you, Lord. It is in the master's and immutable name of Jesus the Christ of Nazareth we all say together, thank you, Lord. Now the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord calls his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord turn his countenance towards you and give you peace. Amen. God bless you. Give God praise. Go in peace.